This is insane. This was sent to me a few days ago while I was in my Pokemon coma and I couldn't believe it. This dude made us a freaking theme song and it actually kicks major butt. So Sparkle Squad, I've been talking to him, super chill guy. Everyone go check out this song. What a way to start the video. I'm already out of breath. Dude, I actually asked him if he wanted to like edit for me because like the editing is like so good and like my style too. And don't, don't worry, Zach. <laughs> Zach's like, excuse me? What, what? Hold on a second. Like on the side, like occasionally. Like Zach, don't worry, I got you. In fact, my editor right now, I literally went into a Pokemon coma and I've sent Zach nothing to edit. This video you're watching right now is completely thrown together. It's a bunch of random things I've been meaning to talk about. There's something serious, but it's been so long since I sent Zach anything. He's actually live on Twitch right now. <laughs> this is how bored my man is. Hello, I'm filming a video for you right now because i'm not too keen on um roguelikes i just dismissed hades but i've heard nothing but good things so uh you heard him from me word hello speaking of someone who has said nothing but good things about hades thank you i'm filming a video right now yay you should uh keep shouting out my twitch that'd be great okay i gotta go finish making the video now you know my mate dave was right when you start seeing the chokes just in the wild you just realize how stupid they look are the speedos like attached to his body is that like part of its skin can they take him off like what's going on here when a choke needs to go and do a shit, do they pull down their speedos like so many questions where are the answers that's actually a very good point okay i hate that you've mentioned that do their parents give them speedos when they hit a certain age how does that work i hate that you mentioned that because now i can't unsee that yesterday i know it's bad i know i know i wasn't kidding i am actually addicted this game's been out a week 73 hours now but look at this pretty sick completed the pokedex i have the shiny charm actually tonight you've missed it but i'm gonna go shiny hunting on twitch i love this game dude i can't stop playing can we get an hour check in the comments how many hours are you at now and don't go down there like uh, only 73 i'm at like 110 Keep talking. Keep him talking. Credit card information? Check. VPN info? Check. Hello. Oh, oh, they've been looking at pictures of what online? Wait. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, man. I'm going to get it for this. Hello. Hi. I, I got kicked out of the system. How? I don't know. I, I guess they turned on their Express VPN. Why does that matter? Well, it's easy. I mean, one simple click and it reroutes every piece of data going in and out of their devices through a secure encrypted tunnel that cannot be seen. Not by me, not by you or the government or any other hacker. Not even by ExpressVPN. Can we trace their IP address and try again? Actually, no. Uh, while connected to ExpressVPN, it reroutes your traffic through one of their 3000 servers hiding their real IP address. Damn it. Yeah, I know. Those smart idiots. They're probably connected to a UK server right now. You know, actually, if they logged into their Netflix while they were on that server, they could access all kind of shows that they couldn't hear in the US, like The Office or Rick and Morty. What about Modern Family? Yeah, even Modern Family. It's actually pretty cool, but very frustrating for me. So, using Netflix without ExpressVPN is like paying for a gym membership, but only being able to use the treadmill? Yeah, exactly like that. Hmm. Oh, well, that's the easy part. You just got to go to expressvpn.com forward slash beat-em-ups and you'll get three months free. free? <laughs> yeah. Wait, do you, do you hear that? Oh, I gotta go. Okay, bye. Look, ExpressVPN is great. It's really handy, has a ton of uses. It will take you at home or at work. Like, I really have to go. Look, if you want to support the channel, click the link below. So there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about today and go through. In fact, there's so much fun today. Look at all of this. And this is the surreal thing. Here we go with the taste test. My channel in 2014. I bet you didn't know that that was over here. You might be onto something here. There's been a little bit of drama with them. Ooh. Anyway, you can think about that. I'm going to go to GameStop. Hi, can I get um a donut? Chocolate what? donut with sprinkles. A sorry. chocolate a chocolate donut with sprinkles to be more specific. I always forget that they have donuts. Donut. Welcome to Woods Food 
Divine Review. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for daily munchies. Today we're trying the new Dunkin' Egg Bites. Am I even in focus? If I'm not in focus, it's intentional. Here we have the egg white and spinach. The only difference here is there's a hole in the middle. I'm pretty sure they've just stolen these from Starbucks and punched a hole in it, and now they're selling it as something different. Here we go with the taste test. Not bad, very moist. I would give these a seven and a half. She didn't get sprinkles. No, I didn't. I'm gonna go into GameStop and buy some games. Oh, and everyone at home can play. Guess what game I'm buying? Lock in your answers down in the comments. I can't wait for that game, that game, that game, that game, that game. I'm just gonna grab a random game. I have no idea what it is. And when I get home, we'll try it in this video. Death's Gambit Afterlife. I've literally never heard of it. It actually looks kind of sick though. So, uh, we got a ton of stuff, but if anyone guessed Dying Light 2, you you were right. Scoot asked me if I would play it with him, so I, I bought it to play it with him tonight. <laughs> but while we're in there, we got a couple fun games and we'll try them out now on stream. Also, Kim got this, this thing that apparently she's gonna tear apart and use the stuffing for. Well, that was fun. Ooh, better. That's so much better than coffee. <laughs> it tastes like code beat em ups. All right, so we went to GameStop, grabbed Blue Fire while I was there. What is this? My channel in 2014. But also, this Death's Gambit game looks kind of sick. We're going to try it. Oh, it comes with stuff. All right, I have a good feeling about this game, chat. I just called you chat. I'm sorry. I spent too much time on Twitch. I'm so sorry. You are not chat. I don't know what you are. <laughs> what are I viewers, watchers? Do you have a name? Do you want a name? Little, little woodlets? Little wood chips? Little woodies? Ooh, let's not go with that one. Okay, while that's installing, I'm gonna bring you over here for the next segment in this video. This video is nothing and also everything. Come over here. Yeah, I bet you didn't know that that was over here. I'm gonna have to yell at you for a second. I'm so excited about, about, I can't, I don't like not being on camera while talking, about two things right here. I finally, oh actually there's, there's a microphone on this thing, I probably don't have to yell. Zach, use this camera's audio. I finally bought one of these like table things, special reserve games. They sent me a massive box of their games and I told them I would open them in a video, so I'm going to do it. All right, we got a book. I didn't sign up for that. Fragile? Ooh, what's in here, candy? Oh, sick. Oh, what are these things? Oh, oh my God. There's a ton of them. They're like glass, what are they? Oh my God, oh my Lord, it's so big. I can't even fit it on this camera that I bought. Crossing souls, do oh, no way. Oh, this is so cool. It's signed by people. I actually really like this game, so this is so cool. Look! Life-size laser blaster. It's the blaster from the game. And more of these like blast things. Dude, this is quality. Wait, there's a whole nother box underneath? What the heck? <laughs> Gloves again? What is this? Okay, so we have the game, a little artwork maybe, a box for the game, music from the game. I feel like I'm about to play piano with these gloves. And then a, I'm guessing an art book, yeah. I don't really know why I needed the gloves, but I kind of love that I have them. Oh wait, oh, th no way there's even more games in the boxes too. Thank you so much. I'll leave a link down below for their stuff. Not a sponsor, they just, Send everything to be nice. I super appreciate it. That's really cool. Thank you. Before we jump into Death's Gambit, let me grab my grips because I finally got mine in the mail. Oh God, this is what the box looks like. I think we saved the fact that we had a special box as a secret for those that bought them. But now that everyone's been tweeting about it, thank you all so much for the love, the tweets, 
the posts. And this is the surreal thing. There have been people uploading YouTube videos. Dude, look at that. Look, dude. The Collective Gaming, Virtual Oliver, Game Dad. This is so surreal, dude. It's like, I don't want to say full circle, but like kind of in a way. Like I started on YouTube making videos about Nintendo stuff and accessories. And then eventually I make a Nintendo accessory. And then other YouTubers and creators talk and make videos about my accessory. Like I didn't even think about that happening when we made the thing. And it blew me away when I started seeing those videos. But uh, th there's been a little bit of drama with them. Most people have it and they're happy. Also, I want to say I'm just a guy with a brand working with a company. The company is handling all of it. So don't email and message me with like tech support because I can't. I thought it was coming out in November as well. And I've been sat here waiting with everyone. I only got mine a few weeks ago. I don't want to make anyone look bad because it, honestly, it came down to being nobody's fault. What happened was around that October, November, going into that season, there was a massive spike and a new variant of the thing that we all love and hate. And it slowed down the factory that these were being made out of because there were cases there. Satisfy kept getting told it's happening. It's happening as soon as we can get back in there. But we didn't know when that was going to be. And then finally, we were told they're ready. And Satisfy emailed saying they'll be there for Christmas. It got pushed into holiday season. And as soon as that happened, the shipping people in China were like, we want to charge you 10 times as much to ship these because it's Christmas. And we know that you'll pay it because you have to if you want these out in time. So we had a choice. Do we ship all these things out at these jacked prices and take the loss? But I was like, what's the point in that? I feel like everyone that bought the grip bought it to support me. And if they found out that we just shipped them out to get them out in time and we lost money on it, they'd probably be upset. I don't think anyone wants to think that it cost me money. I want to think they supported me and got something really cool. The spike delaying it to Christmas is what did it really. That's probably just a way easier way of explaining the whole thing. I'm so sorry if something went wrong with yours, but whatever goes wrong with any of them, contact Satisfy and... We, they'll get it fixed. But that's a very small percent of people. And if you're still waiting, I'm sorry. It's coming. That said, so many people have got theirs. And I've had so many tweets and videos sent to me. Like these videos. <laughs> I've been waiting for these for like a month now. Oh, they look so good. Uh, what if someone tells you that like the colors clash too much? Well, then I'm going to beat them up. Just a it just looks great. It's finally here. And I am incredibly happy to finally use my Switch in handheld mode again. Hey, Wood and Kim, your Switch grip arrived safely here in the UK today. It is amazing quality and will definitely save my hands. Can I just say, this is easily the, one of the best grips on the market. You're awesome. This extremely comfy grip that is probably going to save my wrists is awesome. Grip arrived today. Looks awesome on the Switch. It's so beautiful. Oh my God. Beat em ups. You're the man. Thank you so much. I love you. This is just fantastic. We have a beautiful special edition Zen Grip Pro, my favorite book for the Nintendo Switch. Yuki. Have you been playing my my Switch with the Satisfy Zen Grip? Love the videos and love the new grip. Oh, look at this thing. It's beautiful. Look at that color. Just wanted to say this thing is awesome. So comfortable. Love the color combination. It looks really good. And it feels great in the hands. And I just got my Satisfy Zengrip Pro Beat em Ups Edition and I'm over the moon about it. Nice. Very, very nice. It came! All right, we're gonna try this game. It honestly looked good. It says Death's Gambit Afterlife. Does that mean that there was a first one? Am I playing a sequel? I honestly have no idea what I'm about to play. All the way from Adelaide. <laughs> it's stuck in my head. Oh, I like picked my class? We might be onto something here. Look at that giant scythe. Sentinel, assassin. Oh, there's so many classes. Okay, I feel like this is like the default class, so we'll start here. Oh, this is gonna be like Dead Cells. Oh, this is bad. I should finish my Pokemon addiction before playing this. I like the animation. Music is sweet. Okay. I'm kind of ruining up the vibe by getting off the horse. Oh, that's kind of an interesting animation style. It's like 2D, but like it's got depth and 3D animation. Ooh. Use the horse. Okay, but how do I call the horse? How do I get the horse up here? There's no way I can get the... All right, guys, I think this game might actually be sick. I'm getting a really good feeling about it. Okay. Oh, God. Bring it on, buster. Oh, that's a big health bar. 
sick. Oh, there's actually voice acting in the game too, which is a nice touch. Resting at an idol regenerates used pume. Oh, so that's like a, a fetus flask from, uh, from uh, what? Dark Souls. Oh, dude, this game though, actually feeling it. I want to try perfect parry again. Do you think I can? It was totally an accident the first time. I'm liking this a lot. How have I never heard of this game? I literally just wanted to test it. I really like it. I think that's really good. I want to look up how I've never heard of it and when it came to Switch. Did that say September 30th it came to Switch? Dude, how did I miss that one? Good thing they made a physical. Oh, by the way, speaking of physical, Special Reserve Games. This is the company that sent me all that cool stuff. So they have Shadow Warrior 3 right now. Ooh, that game, Heave Ho. Death's... How do I buy it? I love this game. It's going to be in my next eShop video. Sold out! All right, if you don't want to miss out on games like I apparently did, go, I don't know, follow them on Twitter or something. This video was like a mixed bag of stuff. I guess I'll end it by saying thank you. I made a video recently thanking everyone for everything, so I'm not going to drone on, but I just want to say again, thank you for all your support and everything I do online. I'm excited for this year. My Pokemon review is essentially what I want to do with my reviews moving forward. These big, like fun videos. So if you like that kind of stuff and you keep watching it when I make it, I will gladly take time on each one and try and make them like fun. But of course I have eShop videos and on Twitch and following me on Twitter. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. That'll be an actual video and not something that I just threw together in an hour.